Hi guys, today I'll be sharing with you how to use my Notion Content Creators Dashboard. With this Content Creators Dashboard, you have everything you need in one central location. The dashboard is fully customizable, allowing you to create a system that works for you and your unique content creation needs. If you would like to download this template, there's a link to it in the video description below. So what we're going to do in this video is to take a tour of the template, which has lots of different databases, including a progress monitor for your social media channels, a content master list, also known as a content calendar, a finance tracker, daily task dashboard, and many more. So the first thing you see after you downloaded the dashboard is a simple FAQ page, and this provides you with simple instructions for every database and what the callout boxes mean. It's organized based on the frequency these um, separate databases are used. Below the FAQ page, we will see three columns representing views of your ultimate monthly goals as well as your shortcut section. So the ultimate goals um, column is static, so you write down your yearly goals you would like to achieve. The next column is a linked database to the monthly goals. And lastly, you have your shortcuts. We are going to skip over the linked databases first and go straight to the daily task database. Your daily task page gives you an overview of the ongoing projects, the tasks you need to complete them, as well as your progress. Before elaborating on the table database, you can actually click on the toggle list to understand what all these columns in the table mean and um, what the views represent. Now let's move on to the database itself. So here you have your list of tasks with columns for task type, status, priority, progress, due date, due date, as well as overdue. We separate due date and due dates because it's nice to give yourself a period of time to work on something. You will also notice the toggle inside the table in your task column. So for example, create social media promo for Notion templates has two subtasks below, create teaser video on TikTok and plan Twitter posts. When you click to open the parent task, you'll see that these two subtasks are in your property. You can even break down your subtasks further with more subtasks in it. In the table, you will also notice the progress bar, and this is interactive and depends on the status of each task. So let's say you have completed your teaser video on TikTok, and this automatically gives your parent task 50%. Completing both subtasks will also complete the parent task automatically. So in your last column, you actually have a formula for overdue. And this states that if the due date is in the past and the status is not complete, the checkbox will be checked. So let's do one now. If I were to change the due date past today's date, the checkbox will be automatically checked. If you decide to unhide to do property here, this is another formula, and this is ticked when today's date is between the due date and the due date. Right here. So the next view we have is the timeline, and this is just another way to view your task. It also takes into your account the subtask, as you can see here if you um, click on the toggle button. The next view is urgent, and in the filter, you have two advanced rules when to do is checked or overdue is checked. I also have the quick tasks and these items in the view are tasks not associated with big projects and could be just smaller appointments. And then we have the archive view and this is where you can find all the tasks you have completed and with the status archived. And lastly, you have your ideas. These are brain dump items that you might want to add to your tasks but I'm unsure if you'd like to commit to adding them in your task right now. Let's write a new idea right now. And if we were to open the page, you can change it to a task once you materialize this by adding it to your type property. As you can see, it's no longer in our ideas page, but if we go to the details, we can see it over here. We can go back up to the dashboard to find our task to prioritize table, and this is a linked database to our urgent view in our daily task database. You are able to unhide the days remaining uh, column to find out how many days are left before the due date. You can even include a new view, for example, quick task as well. 
So this takes me to our next database, which is our brain dump. And this basically a link database to our daily task view. This is just an easier way of adding new ideas without going into your daily task table to do so. Putting it on a different page is also super helpful because you're able to utilize the Notion AI feature. We can use the AI feature, brainstorm ideas, When you're happy with a few of these ideas, you can just drag it to the list below. Next, we go into our content master list. This is a database that you will probably use daily. This is to plan, schedule, and create your social media content throughout your different platforms. So by clicking the toggle again, you'll see what all the properties mean in the table below including the hidden properties, so you can get a better understanding of the purpose of each input. In your content strategy table, you will notice that it is categorized based on the different social media platforms, and this helps you systematically see the content that needs to be created for each one. When you click a filter, it is by social media platform relations and the respective platform. You might also see a database column right here. And this is used when you're handling more than one brand or account. You can hide it if you only have one account. We can go back up to the dashboard to find our content to prioritize table. And this is a linked database to our content master list. In the filter, it filters out content that is due today or due tomorrow. The next view is actually our content calendar. Also a link view to our content master list. This provides you with the big picture of your monthly content. Next, we move on to goals database. This page is where you fill in your monthly goals, specifically content creation, engagement, followers, and reach goals. The properties in the database may look overwhelming at first, but you can use the toggle list to navigate. In every respective type of goal, the template will tell you which property you should unhide. So if, for example, if we go into the content goal, it tells us to unhide publish content, target content creations, and content progress. And you will only need to fill in the target content creation uh, property. Publish content and content progress will be automated based on the inputs you have provided on your content master list page. So let's give an example now. So let's say if we go back to our content master list and you've actually completed your Notion hack on TikTok and you change the status to publish and you check the box. When you go back to goals, select the respective social media platform in your social media property to TikTok, you will see that the publish content indicates one automatically. You can key in number of content you would like to create in a month and you can see that the content progress is automatically generated. You are able to do the same for the other types of goals. You might be wondering how this works. So this is actually done using the relations and rollups function where the related um, database is the social media platform database over here. The automated calculations uses the rollup property to sync data of social media platforms to our goal database. As you can see over here. So before bringing you to the social media platform database, we can view the goals linked database at the top of the dashboard. Next, we will go to the social media platforms database under here. So this database gives you an overview of your individual social media performance. And you're actually not required to input anything as these figures are automated. If you click open to TikTok, you can see that the total content is generated here. And this is also where you can put your social link for easier reference. These properties are related to the progress monitor database that we will now explore. The progress monitor database is where you visit monthly to evaluate and keep track of your social media performance. The first table you see is the balance performance table, and this indicates your social media figures to date. It measures reach engagement and follower growth. These figures are automated and you don't have to touch them. You will only fill up the starting followers column. For example, if you are starting with 100 TikTok followers to date, 
you will have to write that in before you start tracking them monthly. Then we go down to the monthly performance. This is where you indicate your monthly social media figures. You can find these numbers on your own social media profiles. So you fill this up at the end of every month. So right now it's March and um, let's say I have increased my followers to 100. I've reached maybe 3,000 accounts and engaged with 5,000 accounts. So going up to your balance performance, you will see it telling. The balance performance sums up your performance of your social media platforms to date. This is done using the relations and rollups property and with balance performance relations to monthly performance over here. See if you view the hidden properties under the balance performance, you are able to see its relations and how we calculate it. Because rollup functions are not numbers, we created new columns with the formula functions over here. What you don't see in the monthly performance is the month's property. Each month's view in the monthly property table is related to the month's database. Before going into the month's database, this page also includes key social media metrics and resources on how to do social media reporting. So most of the tracking databases from the content master list, goals, progress monitor, and income are connected to the month's database. So you can see here in March. Going into the income database, the Simple Finance Tracker helps you keep track of all your social media earnings and expenses. So similar to the balance performance, you will have to input the starting balance in your balance calculator. Opening the income toggle, you can go to the respective month to fill in the amount you receive and this will be indicated in the balance calculator. This is the same for the expense toggle. So for example, you bought Google Ads in March at $50 on the 5th of March. So we'll key in here, Google Ads at $50 on the 5th of March. And you have a budget of $70 for the month for Google Ads. And it's a flexible income. So this will be indicated in the balance calculator here. So going back to the monthly database, this will track the inputs over here. So the last database we have is the brands. The brands platform is a blueprint to your entire brand and you use this template to list down your brand identity and strategy and curate your brand assets. So you can actually click on the brands template right here to generate a guideline on how to go about it. If you have purchased the exclusive creators bundle, the ebook, Creating Connections, a systems thinking approach to content creation, it comes with it to help you build your foundation in content creation and development of your brand. So there you go, this is the content creators dashboard. I have my goals at the top, a little countdown embed followed by the shortcuts of frequently visited database, my link databases of my tasks and content to prioritize, a linked database to my content calendar, followed by my tracking databases and resources. The social media platform database gives an overview of my individual social media performance, and last but not least, the monthly overview. One thing I want to tell you before this video ends is um, how to add a new social media platform. So if you realize, I have only added five social media platforms in this dashboard, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And if you wish to add more social media platforms onto the dashboard, here's how you do it. In your content master list, type the new platform on the social media column. Let's say you are creating a pin on Pinterest. And you add Pinterest to the social media relations right here. And this will automatically be added to the social media platform database over here. Going into the progress monitor, you will also have to add a new social media platform to the dashboard as well, which includes the balance performance as well as the monthly performance. Since the monthly performance board has monthly views, you will also have to key the new social media platform 12 times, one for each month.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. The template is down in the description below together with other free resources. Have a great day.